ring bum. You ever pay you back that 20 bucks that he owes you? No! No, he did not! Well, it is just 20 bucks. Oh! Only 20 bucks! Only 20 bucks! It's my 20 dollars, Thomas! And it's the principle of the matter! How many times did that ring bum use that one on us, huh? It's the principle of the matter, he says. Well, over the last 150 years, probably about a million and a half times. See? Now let's go! Go? Go where? We're going back to the camp so I can get my 20 bucks back. They're not there. And how would you know that? Bella told me. Bella? Why didn't Bella tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Bella tell you. Seven thirty AM Thursday. <laughs> Let me see. You Oh shit. What'd you do that for? Well the track in us, Thomas! Who? CIA! FBI! KGB! MIB! STD! You name it, Thomas! And they are tracking us! Now, how are we going to get my 20 bucks and find the ring bum? We could call Bella. Ah! You, sir, are a genius! Shit! Fix it! With what? My good looks? Ah! Your good looks have never got us anything! Uh, I got it! We'll find someone with the phone. And we'll use that phone. And we'll call Bella. Got it. My clown brain at it again. Ah. Come on, Thomas. Come on, Slowpoke. Let's get moving. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that there is a phone in that bag, right over there. Why should I let you use it? After all, I am talking to a clown. That's right! Grok the clown here! And this is Thomas! Well, Mr. Grok and Thomas, you guys could get off to your uh, Halloween party. I'm trying to finish up our one-on-one -on -one here. No! You 
show your hoops. Put the bag down. No. I said, put the fucking bag down. Yeah, well, and I said no. The bag. No. I said no. It's my bag. It's my bag. It's my bag. Oh, it's not. Here, I want to sit this one out. What? My bag, I told you. No! My bag, I want the bag. No! Bag, give me the damn bag. Man, what's wrong with you? Walking around dressed up like a... Get some help or something. You bastard, this call happened. You just took a few steps back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Man, this guy's... Party. Oh, I love birthday parties. I haven't been to one in years. I think we should sit this one out. Oh, the cake and the ice cream and the balloons and a magician? A two-rated magician? Where's the clown? Every little boy and girl deserves to have a clown at their birthday party. Come on, Thomas. We're sending in the clown. Hello, little girl. And what's your name? Sydney. Oh, Sydney. What a beautiful name for such a beautiful little girl as yourself. Have a balloon. Oh, you go enjoy the 
so you're so welcome. And for my next trick, I'm gonna need a volunteer from the audience. How about you, little girl? Come on. I'm gonna make this coin disappear. One, two, three. Where did oh, it go? I know where it is. Leave it alone. There it is. Oh, I know how to Leave do it. that one. Alone. Take a seat. Nancy mentioned anything about a double bill. I thought I was the only act. Act? <laughs> you, sir, are an amateur. What this party needs is a professional. Me! Hold on a minute. You calling me an amateur? Calling you an amateur? Calling him an amateur? You, sir, are an amateur. Ha! Hold on. Wait just a I minute. I bet you don't even have a rabbit in this hat, do you? Hold on, you little shits, those are mine! Hey now, hey now! That's no way to talk to children! Oh, but you're a little better than I thought! You made the children disappear! That's not <laughs> fun! <laughs> you stand on my clown shoe! No! Stands on Brock's clown shoe! I'll get off your clown shoe and give me back my hat. Oh, you're right. I should have done that. Here you go. Here you go. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Now, before we go, I have a little magic trick that I'd like to perform for you. Let's go. Oh, it's an oldie. But it's a goodie. Abracadabra. One, two, three. Now, for my final act, I shall make a magician disappear. <laughs> To the magician. He's taking a break. Yeah, an extended nap. Do you like naps? Oh, I love naps. We gotta go. Where are you taking him? Back to the circus. Yeah, he's going to the big tops. Where's the magician? He went to the big top. Happy birthday to you! Take a break. I'll handle this. You're such a good friend, Thomas. Oh. Don't get up. You know what? It would be best if I stayed right here. My clown feet are killing me. You know, Thomas. I gotta hand it to you. Oh, you're becoming very proficient at that.
Now what? Well, now we gotta find the ring button. And in order to do that, we gotta call Bella. And in order to do that, we gotta find a phone. No, with these. Oh. Don't you think we should weigh him down with something? You're wasting time, Thomas! Hurry up! On the count of three, you wouldn't be cast into the river in pieces by me! Thomas, a fish jumped! No, nothing could light! Now, Thomas, have some fun on this journey! Come up here and see this. What? Walk up here and find out. What do you say? Oh, for the love of God! Hold your carny britches, I'm coming! See this. Let's go see if they have a phone. Well, the two of you just gonna stand there. Are you going to come inside? Oh, leave your bindles out there. The quarters are tight in here.
Up here. Who sent you? The ringmaster. Lionel? Do I know you? Yeah, you performed at the Circus Bush back in the late 1800s. I joined just before you moved on. Ah, uh, yes. Moved on with Maddie. The love of my life. I remember Maddie. She was talented. <sighs> she passed in 1921. I built this house for her. Oh, how she loved this house. Well, I hate to break up this family reunion here, but do you have a phone that we could borrow? And who is your ill-mannered clown friend? I'm Brock! Oh, hail from Ringling Brothers, then. The clowns there were always on the arrogant side. Arrogant? All right, you listen Show some he respect. We're in the man's house. Oh? Well, I'm sorry, sir, if I offended you. Welcome to it. Shit! What did you mean when you said, who sent you? Yeah, you said the ringmaster. Do you know the bum? Because if you do, he owes me 20 bucks. The two of you don't think you just stumbled across this place, out here, in the middle of nowhere. He does have a point. I assume the Gypsy Bella is still at the ringmaster's side. As far as we know. I love Bella. Oh, she's so sweet. So you've seen them both? We were with their camp for a few years. Yeah, but I got tired of all that ring bum's rules. And so Thomas and I grabbed our gear and we set off for adventure. <laughs> well, you may be in for a bigger adventure than you realize. What do you mean? <sighs> Please, forgive me. I must sit and rest. This old body doesn't have much left in it. Please sit. The stones. Ah, oh, the stones! Like the rock and roll group! What? What? I love rock and roll! The three stones that you or whoever acquires them will lead you to Vespertilio Utsala. Bat Island? Yes. I thought Bat Island was just a vampire carny myth. Oh, far from it. Bat Island does exist. And how do you know that? I've seen it with my own eyes. Where is it? When I saw it, it was down off the southern tip of Africa. But you see, it's ever-changing. It moves? It's like a mirage. Oh, now you see it. Now you don't. Exactly. I know that trick. So what's the trick? Yeah, how do we find Bat Island? A compass. Oh, but, but no ordinary compass. And you need the three stones to make it work. Okay, so how do we get these three stones? Isn't that why the two of you are here? Come on, lads. I know who sent you. The ringmaster. No, no. We're here to find a phone so that I can call Bella so that we can find out where they moved that stupid camp so that I can get my 20 bucks back from the ring bum. <sighs> the spell runs deep. Bella. Now you're catching on. Oh, no. No, no. Bella would never do that. What if you were sent here? <sighs> Then that means you're being tracked. Ha! I told you! What is your clown friend going on about? Bella gave us a cell phone. Yeah, but I busted it up and threw it in the woods. 
The tracking method Bella employed predates cellular phones. You should leave. Yes, you should. <clears throat> Wait, Blake. Uh, here it is. You must promise me that this will never fall into the Brainmaster's hands. Hey, 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 what about me, huh? I wouldn't trust a clown with this. I pledge that the Ringmaster will never get that box. The responsibility is now yours. It's encouraging to see such loyalty. You're going to need to make friends you can trust along your journey. What the fuck do you that for? In time, you shall see. Take it. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, I ought to take that box and shove it up right your hairy ass! I am no longer the rightful owner. Take it. Compass? And the stone! You said the... You said there are three stones. Where are the other two? I know the Ringmaster has one. Acquire two stones, and the compass will lead you to the third. So how does it work? Thomas will know. Now, take the box, the compass, and the stone, and leave before the Ringmaster and his entourage arrive. We should wait here. We'll ambush him. There are three of us. And how many will the Ringmaster have with him? And I am too old for battle. Lionel's right. We should wait and make a plan. We must leave. Thomas, remember your pledge. Glock, look after Thomas. Now leave. Let's get out of here. She smelled like corn dogs, and you know how much I love corn dogs. Where to, Thomas? We should find a place to drop her off. Good idea. You know, we could 
turn this thing into an ice cream truck. And then we'd make some real money. She still smells like corn dogs. Oh, we could sell corn dogs too. Oh. Hey, you over there. Would you do me a favor and get me a corn dog? I'd love a corn dog. Corn dog. Fried American cuisine. A wiener on a stick. Coated in cornmeal batter. Dog, Usually a wiener on a Corn stick. Eat them steaming hot and plain. I eat them steaming hot and plain. I eat them in the sun or rain. Taste.